I like the idea of spray paints because my father was a, a commercial artist, a retoucher, and he would take my brother and me to work on, on the weekends, and, and he would show us his little pache airbrush, and it would make a very fine spray. And it was used mainly to to doctor up photographs for the Sears robot candlelight. In other words, in those days, if they had a shirt, a man's shirt, they wanted to get rid of all the wrinkles. Nowadays, if you have a catalog of shirts, they, they want it to be natural. So what he did was he would airbrush all the, the wrinkles out and get a perfectly flat white. But he was so good at it, he could make the tiniest little spray. And so I, I think the idea of spraying was, became sort of natural because he, he took my brother and me there when we were quite young. And, you know, the place was vacant, this huge overnight studio where there were maybe 50 artists all working on the service catalog. And a lot of them were airbrush artists. And, and nowadays, uh, a lot of the, uh, the younger artists use Pache airbrushes in, in different ways. So, that's probably why it was kind of an acceptable way for me to work. The only thing about spray paints in those days, in the 60s and 70s, were they were basically red, yellow, blue, black, and white, in very sort of harsh colors. And uh, gradually, over the years, they, the uh, paint manufacturers have come up with spray paints now in a large range of beautiful colors and so it's uh, it's helped me in having a little better range of colors. <laughs>